Hey girlies, it's Tammy, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna title this, but I woke up feeling like doing a neutral glam today, but I wanna try not setting my face, which is unheard of for me. My oily skin is shaking right now. Also, I have hay fever, so like I do sound a bit bunged up and my eyes are a little bit watery today, but you know, we have to pr proceed to give you what you need. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in some weird mood today. So I'm gonna be using like mattifying products because at the end of the day, I do have oily skin. I'm not trying to be oily greasy mess out here but I want to try not setting I'm gonna set underneath my eyes just so I don't get creasing but the rest of my face I'm gonna kind of leave like bare this could be my new base routine or it could be a complete fail and I just you know end up setting my face in a couple hours <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start with primer. I've taken out the Too Faced Poured, uh, Poured? No, Primed and Poreless Primer. I've been loving this. I love that it has a matte finish and it's blurring as well. It's almost like a combination between a mattifying primer and my favorite Fasali Skin Tune Blur. I do like to blend it in with a brush. It does kind of sink in and dry down either way with your fingers or a brush. So for foundation, I've taken out the XX Revolution. I've been using this a lot recently just to test it for you guys and give you my final opinion. I'm still gonna do an up update video on it but so far this is a banger if you have oily skin you need long lasting full coverage like foundation this is a banger especially for me paired with the Too Faced primer beautiful the last time I used these two paired together I felt like I didn't need to set my face so hopefully you know that's the vibe I'm going for today they just give me such matte skin together can you guys see like there's no glow to my skin which I really like I know it's not for everyone and glowy skin is not for everyone either everyone has their preferences you know but look how matte and full coverage yes so many of you guys have been asking me to update you on this foundation and like how it wears and guys it's a go even the radiant one the glowy one that they claim is like luminous that wore pretty well on my skin as well like it didn't get as glowy and dewy and oily as I was expecting I feel like it's more of a radiant matte I don't know if that's how to describe it but compared to my other glowy dewy foundations that one really wasn't glowy and dewy so yeah to me both of the foundations are good I probably will end up using this one a bit more just because it is very matte compared to the other one but the other one's not super oily dewy slippy slidey which I like so even just looking at the finish of my face right now I don't Feel like I need powder like it doesn't look like it needs set in badly so that's what inspired this video idea I thought I'd just try something different and if it works out like my base routine should be like 10 times shorter how flawless is this base and plus my eyebrows I'm sorry but guys I think I've mastered eyebrows like <laughs> they look so real I literally have no little to no brow hairs on my actual brows so the fact that these look so bushy but sculpted I'm here for it and the trick that I do to kind of get it looking like this I have mentioned it before but take your concealer brush after you've sculpted out your brow and just run the concealer brush through it and it kind of gives this illusion of like gaps in the brow hairs so for eyeshadow I pulled out my tropical paradise palette because I've been getting loads of requests to use more of my palette so I thought we'd do like a neutral glam look using my very well loved like you guys can see my favorite shades in here the colorful shades don't tend to get used as much because when I go for colorful looks I of course use my tropical carnival palette so for this one I kind of just reached for the neutrals in here I'm gonna take my abh primer which i've really been enjoying lately i like the way that it dries down matte okay so i'm gonna start with the dark brown in the palette this one here um i can't remember the name i think it's adventure i named these three years ago guys and i've never had to like really remember the names because it doesn't have the names on it so i'm just gonna be pointing to the shades but yeah i can't believe that i created this back in 2017 time honestly flies and then to blend that out i'm gonna go into this one down here it's like a warm tone brown perfect chocolatey type of transition color and of course I don't have to say this but they blend out like a dream very easy to work with just use light pressure and back and forth motions I might add a slight tiny dab of this berry color here it's kind of like a berry pinkish color just a small amount to add a little bit of color into the crease it's not going to be that noticeable because I'm only using a small dab of it. But I just want to like add a little bit of tint, you know. I'm going to go into this shade here and put this on the center of my lid right in the middle.
And then on the inner part, I'm gonna take this shimmer right here, which is very similar, but slightly lighter. So it's also like a bronzy shade, but it's just slightly lighter. So it will kind of give it a nice gradient. This is just the perfect everyday eyeshadow look in my opinion, which is why when I travel or when I used to travel, I would take this palette and only this palette because I know I can create every single neutral look at a pop of color if I feel like it. Plus it's nice and small and compact to travel with and it also has a mirror. So I mean, <laughs> it's just the perfect palette. You cannot tell me that is like not the perfect everyday soft glam look. Like it's so beautiful. So now we're gonna move on to concealer. I'm gonna take the XX Revolution Concealer in CX12. I've been really loving this concealer as well. So full coverage, but the doe foot is so comfortable to use. So many of you pointed out that it looks like a little foot and it does. It looks like someone's like boot, I don't know, but it's so like nice underneath the eyes. I'm gonna take my sponge and blend that in blends out so nice and really full coverage. I am loving it. Okay, so uh, should I cream contour or no? I might do a little bit. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Espresso, but I'm not gonna draw it on. I'm gonna take a brush and like, you know, just blend it straight on. This way I won't end up with too much product, I hope. And these matchsticks are pretty dry, so they're pretty kind of matte anyway in formula, so they won't overly dewy my face. Dewy my face. I don't know the correct terminology, but it won't make my face like super oily and dewy like their cream bronzer would, so that's why I'm using this. Hmm, I feel like because of that, I might not need to go in with a powder bronzer. Okay, so the whole idea is, of course, that I'm not going to set the face. However, I am going to set just right underneath my eye here to stop that deep crease. I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder, just a small dab of it. Dab it off onto the back of my hand so I barely have any product on the sponge and just set that area. I'm going to do down my nose as well, just because I know that's the first place to get oily on me. I'm not sure about this decision yet, guys. I still feel very radiant. Even though I've used mattifying products, I still feel like I need powder. But that's probably because I'm just not used to this finish. I'm used to obviously a very matte face. So this is just like very different for me, but it's fine. We're gonna proceed. We're actually nearly finished. I suppose setting my face does take out a big portion of my makeup routine. We're gonna move on to my lower lash line and then lips. I'm just taking the same browns that I used in the crease underneath my lower lash line. Then on my inner corner, I'm gonna go into this light gold shade gorgeous okay so for lips i've pulled out this lip combo right here of course glory lip liner then i have this revolution lipstick i think it's a revolution pro lipstick in the shade latte this is like my nude in a lipstick literally my skin color on me it almost looks like concealer lips because this is my concealer shade basically so you could totally leave it like that but i do like a little bit of lip gloss so i'm gonna go in with this wet cherry lip gloss from lime crime in the shade extra pop in it's meant to be clear but you know when you put it on lip combos like this it turns a different color but it's basically just a clear gloss juicy gorgeous how cute is that nude reminds me a lot of that morphe nude that i tried that time that you guys said looked so good on my skin tone but i think it's sold out now so maybe you could try this if you want to you know obviously you don't have to get the lime crime lip gloss but you can get like a clear gloss this uh lipstick from revolution and then the dark brown lip liner Mm. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and put some lashes on and I'll come back to you with the final look This is possibly my quickest look I've ever done in my life. Okay guys, so here we have the final look. What do you think? I am pleasantly surprised. I feel like my skin looks so healthy. It's a nice natural glow It's not overly oily and slippery. Like I said, I think that's because I use mattifying products I used a matte primer matte foundation matte concealer. So I mean overall I'm not too dewy and I have this kind of light luminous glow it it does look and feel really lightweight on my face as well. I don't feel so like makeup y, but I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do this every day of my life. I probably still will do a little bit of baking, a little bit of pressing, you know, a little bit of brightening underneath my eyes. I do love that look, but I think I'm not gonna be as scared to not set my face. Like before, it was just like not an option, but now I feel like it can be an option on certain days. So yeah, we have progress. But yeah, let me know what you think about the look. If you have oily skin, let me know if you would try this. I know if you have dry skin, you probably do 
this every day this is your routine anyway but if you have oily skin like would you try this at the end of the day i feel like you can touch up if you really needed to so like if this does start to get really oily and greasy i can just easily take a little bit of powder a little bit of my sponge and you know dab over it so it's not the end of the world so for everyone that's been requesting a glowy look from me here you go i hope you enjoyed it and yeah make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and i'll catch you in my next one take care bye